Okay, in this lesson, we're going to talk about the determinant of a product of matrices. Okay, so the theorem states that if A and B are n by n matrices, in other words, if they're, if you have, if they're both square matrices, then the determinant of the product of A and B, okay, is equal to the determinant of A times the determinant of B. Okay, so to demonstrate this, I've, I'm going to let A be this matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, and let B be equal to 1, negative 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so what we're going to do is first is we're going to take uh, and find the determinant of A and B in each one of these. Okay, so determinant of A is going to be, okay, that's just going to be 4 minus 6, which is negative 2. The determinant of B is going to be 3 minus uh, negative 2, which gives us 5. Okay, therefore, okay, um, so, right, the determinant, determinant of A times the determinant of B is going to be negative 10. So I'm just going to write that over here. So now let's compare this with by taking the determinant of a times b. Okay, so we have to calculate the product of a times b. So oops, let's go over here. So one, two, three, four, and one negative one, two, and three. Okay, so multiplying, okay, so remember to multiply these matrices, okay, uh, you take the first row dotted with the first column. So I'm going to, okay, so we're going to get uh, one, one, 1 times 1 will be 1, and then plus uh, 2 times 2, so it's going to give us 5. Um, and then we're going to take the first column here, I'm sorry, first row dot it with the second column. So you're going to get negative 1 plus 6. That's going to give us 5 here for this entry. And then you have 3. So we're going to take the second row, dot it with the first column. So it's 3 plus 8. That gives us 11. Take the second row, dot it with the second column. So that's going to give us minus 3 uh, plus uh, that minus 3 plus 12. So that's going to give us 9. Okay, so that's so this is a times b. So now let's take the determinant of that. So determinant a times b is going to be forty-five, okay, minus fifty-five. So that gives us minus ten, as we expected. Okay. So okay, these two are equal, as we um, as the theorem states. Okay. All right, so something to be careful of here, okay? Um, this is this is only true if you're doing products, okay? So note, it doesn't work if it's addition if you're doing addition or subtraction, okay? So if you do determine a plus or minus b is not the same as determine a plus or minus the determinant of B. Okay, so this is um, this is not always true. Okay. Alright. So going back to our going back to our theorem, okay, this can be extended actually. Okay, so in general um, you could have the determinant of let's say A1, A2, A3 however many you have, is equal to determinant of A1 times determinant A2, and so on. Okay. Okay, so you can extend this for more than two matrices, okay? 
Also, okay, um, if you have the determinant of, let's say, a to the power n, okay, so this is equal to determinant of a times determinant a dot 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 times the determinant a. So this is, you have n of these, okay? Okay, because you have a to the n, that's a times a times a times a n times. So then using the theorem that we just stated, uh, you can expand on that. And this result, okay, this is just the same as taking the determinant of a and raising it to the power n, okay? So I want to do an example of this. Okay. Um, let's see. So let b let b be equal to one zero one 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 two one two one. Okay, and we want to find. Okay, so let b be equal to this. We want to find the determinant of b to the fifth power. Okay. So let's first, so we're going to first find the determinant of b, and then what we can do is once we find that, then we can raise it to the power n, in this case n being 5. So we can use, um, we can use the diagonal method to find the determinant of this matrix. So I have 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so I take the first column, put it here, take the second column, put it over here. Okay, so our diagonals. Okay, so we're going to have multiply these along these diagonals and then multiply these along these diagonals. So we get 1 times 1 times 1, so that's going to give us 1. Um, you have a 0 here, so that's going to give us 0 plus 2. Okay, And then over here, okay, you're going to minus, this will be 1 uh, plus 4 plus 1. So this is going to give us uh, negative 5 plus 3. So that gives us negative 2. All right, so now we, have, so then, okay, the determinant, so therefore the determinant of b to the fifth is the same as, okay, it's going to be the same as taking minus 2 raised to the fifth power, and that's going to be minus 32. So that is the determinant of b to the fifth, okay.